hi you guys i hope that you're all doing great welcome back to my channel i send you all much love and light if it's your first time here welcome my name is lynn this is passionate heart tarot today we're gonna do a soulmate twin flame love reading so it's for those of you that are either with your person or in separation, that that energy doesn't matter. We're going to tap deeply into the energy around your person, their feelings for you. We're going to take a look at the, what the near future holds for the connection, what they want to tell you. It's a very in-depth reading. And if you do want to book a personal soulmate twin flame love reading with me, you can do that on my website, passionateheartarot.com. That'll all be in the description, you guys. Um, let's jump right in, okay? Um, this is a general reading. It's for all signs. You don't have to be of a particular zodiac sign to watch it. And it's also what you consider a soulmate or twin flame to be. Some of you look at those as the same thing. Some of you put a lot of like rules on what you believe that is. It's It doesn't matter what you call it. It's whoever you feel is the one, okay? That's whose energy we're looking into. You may be with this person or separated let's tap into their energy and see what are your messages from spirit okay i send you all much love and light don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like the video let's jump right in it's funny i split the deck and there's that energy right there okay before i begin your reading just want to take a moment to bless your hands and invite the white light of the holy spirit Okay, so the first thing I'm going to channel from spirit is this person's feelings for you. So their deepest emotions, what's on their mind, what is in their heart, how do they truly feel about you? For those of you that are in separation, because I mean, that energy is just coming through so clear, separated, soulmate, twin flame, however you want to look at it. It's separation. So it could literally be a separation, like you haven't seen this person or spoken to this person in a while. And for others of you, it could just be like a separation, trying to get things back on the right track where maybe it's been off course for you and this person. I just see where, I mean, they look at you as their partner. It doesn't matter what the status or current state of the relationship is. This person just wants to go to where they belong and they feel like where they belong is with you. There's a lot of romantic energy coming from this person. I think that they want to... Uh, reach out to you i mean if you're if you're apart just know how badly they want to come back and they want to come back and show you just how much they've changed to show you like this is what i've learned since we haven't spoken or since we've been distant from each other just know that they are they're different now and i think that if you do let them come back they're going to show you just how different they are. This is someone that's matured a lot emotionally, could even be spiritually with understanding the depth of the connection. I see where they're in this place where they want to come back to you. They want to move things forward. And there's just so much love and romance in the air. I mean, this person just wants to be very loving with you, very tender with you. Do like romantic things for you that they haven't done before they want to show you that side of them that they truly feel is there they don't want to be apart from you it's hard to be apart from you or be distant from you being apart from you feels like something in them is missing a part of their life is missing something very important is, is missing without having you there i see where this person is like in this energy of having made decisions like, I know that I was dragging my feet before. I know that I was moving slowly. I know that I was like super cautious all the time. Where I am now is I want to open up to you. I want to give my heart to you. I want to show you how loved and important you are to me. If there's anyone 
that's came into your life, I'm going to fight so that you're mine. Because this person feels like the two of you belong together. You belong to them and they belong to you. And it doesn't really matter who has come along since or who could possibly be standing between the two of you. Whether it's romantic, uh, different like romantic rivals. Or whether it's like this energy of people that are just butting in or interfering in your connection. Your person's energy is like, I'm going to fight for this. I'm going to fight for us i'm not gonna give up i'm not gonna let anything come between you and me anymore enough things have divided us we spent enough time apart i want to be with you i want to come back to you so i mean uh this person needless to say they love you very much and i just see the energy of someone who's a fighter i see the energy of someone who's a lover i see the energy of someone who uh, knows like what this is and understands it and understands the depth of it and, and how important it is to them wants to be able to show you and give you something solid so a lot of you here have someone that i can see just wants to return to you and that's especially heart touching if you are in separation from this person to know where you still stand with each other the connection is not broken it is not come to an end not at all not from this person's perspective and for those of you that are with your person now i just feel like this is emotional distance or maybe even having uh people come between the two of you could be close uh friends family members i feel like it's the people who feel like they have a stake in this connection you know feel comfortable enough to just give their opinion so freely that could be what's coming between the two of you now i know that your person loves you and feels like you just compliment their life you are so important to them you are their life you're a major part of their life what are they without you they're incomplete without you that energy stands for all of you here so that's why they feel like you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna fight for this this belongs to me this is mine we belong to each other there's a lot of cups coming through that shows me the emotion that shows me the love that shows me the feelings i wonder if any of you feel um, are you thinking that you want this person to come back or you want to get things on the right track and just be closer than you ever have? Just know if you are thinking that, that's what this person is thinking as well. So there's a lot of, um, a lot of love here. Something that you, both of you deep down know what this connection is. Subconsciously, I think you knew it even when you first got together. You know, there's always someone who has a little bit of catching up to do as far as their spirituality and their emotional intelligence. And I know that when you feel like this person is not caught up to where you are, it can be very hurtful because it's like, don't you feel what I feel? Aren't you in the same space as me? Don't you feel that too? And I know that when uh, they have catching up to do, you know, to ascend, uh, um, ultimately to align with you that's what that energy means i know how hurtful that can be when you feel like you're so deep in your emotions and the other one doesn't feel the same way they did feel the same way i just think they had catching up to do certain uh growth that they needed to go through because where i see this person is coming back from is the energy of soul searching and thinking very deeply realizing like this is this is where i belong this is right who else is going to be right for me no one who else is going to be a better fit for me no one you guys are you belong together that's what they feel i'm sure that's what you feel okay you guys so that's what spirit is showing me is going on with them emotionally those are their emotions for you let's ask spirit to show us what it is that they want to say to you that maybe they haven't said or maybe that they've held back from saying now i never know what this is going to be okay but just know that i won't limit myself and i won't uh hold back the truth from you guys about what comes through let's see what it is that they want to say to you
I can't believe that I just spent so much time worrying and overthinking that I missed out on something that was right there being handed to me like a beautiful gift right in front of my face. The whole time, the whole time, I, time that I wasted, I regret it so much. Time that I spent overlooking the blessings right in front of me and, and, you know, putting so much time and effort into other things in my life, you know, work, drowning myself in work, neglecting the connection, um, neglecting the connection and focusing on other things and, and overthinking and being worried. You don't know how much I regret that. You don't know how much I regret not just taking the step in in your direction and just taking things step by step i wish that i had more faith i wish that i had more faith in us in myself and in my path it's not that i meant to neglect you i just get in my own head too much and I, and i start to overthink and then i start to like weigh every pro and every con and then before you know it I've, I've sabotaged things for myself and something that started out feeling so good and so right I get in my own way it's something that I do you know I run from my feelings a lot I put other things ahead of my feelings like I'll, I'll drown myself in work as a way to distract myself I felt like um Maybe I felt like I couldn't have it all. Maybe I felt like, you know, you can only have one thing at a time, which was a stupid way of thinking. It was a stupid way of thinking, but I want you to know that I see that now. I want you to know that like my eyes are open, my mind is open, my heart is open. And I see what, what was right in front of me the whole time that I squandered an opportunity that I lost. This, wow, you know, oh my gosh, I, I literally feel like I'm about to start crying, you guys. Like, there's just so much, um, like, there's so much sadness and there's so much pleading in this person's energy. And I wonder if they just, like, um, maybe felt things that they didn't know how to express to you, maybe how to say to you. Maybe, um, it's someone who didn't always do so well with just expressing their emotions. Oh my gosh, there's like, I pick up on a lot of sadness because there's almost a pleading of things that they want to tell to you that, that maybe they didn't know how to say. And I wonder if any of you um, feel like, you know, when you listen to the message of what they want to tell you, I wonder if it just like touches your heart. Because I'm literally like fighting back tears. There's a lot of emotion coming through. A lot of emotion. And I know like to feel that so uh, deeply, this person's emotions are very genuine. What they feel right now is very genuine. I just, I just empathize with them. And I don't say that to uh, like take their side, but I'm just so filled and overcome with emotion that I know that this person is sincere. And I know subconsciously you feel like they are too. Otherwise you wouldn't be holding on to a connection like this. You want to be watching a reading about something that's so deep if you didn't feel that as well. I feel like this person wants to tell you how much they regret putting other things ahead of you. It was a stupid choice. It was a stupid choice. And I know how badly they want to uh, come back and how they wish that this opportunity could unfold in front of them again. Because if they could do it all over again, best believe they would do things completely different. They'd pay attention. I feel like this person regrets so much taking things for granted. I feel kind of bad for them because like, wow, I, I wouldn't want to be someone who's in their position of feeling like they messed something up and, and missed an amazing opportunity in their life. That's especially important for those of you that are in separation from this person. Now, if you're together with this person now, I think that they just want to like confess a little bit about how they feel deep down and some of the things that they hide, some of the things that they run from. And to um, maybe they don't know how to express 
what they feel they've done. You know, that's why we watch tarot to tap into your person's energy. But that is what I can see. Um, just someone here that I know tends to just really overthink and distract themselves. There could have even been a lot of distractions going on in this person's life at the time. And maybe they just felt like, uh, you know, I, I feel like this person kind of feels like they can't have it all all at once. Like, okay, either I'm going to concentrate only on work or I'm going to concentrate only like on love. Do you know, like trying to put myself forward, build my career, make money for myself, make a name for myself. You know, the sad thing is like, why limit yourself like that? They can really have it all. They can have a beautiful connection and have everything else going right in their life. And I feel like for whatever reason, this person felt like they couldn't, they can't have it all at once, couldn't have it all at once. But you know, what's really sad is like they see the truth about it now and how that's not true. There's a real awakening in your person's energy that I can see, like a true awakening, soul searching, realizing the truth about how they've been, realizing the truth about their feelings, realizing the truth about a beautiful opportunity that, that was just like handed to them. I wonder if you guys just gave of yourself um, selflessly maybe did a lot for this person, just gave, your heart was just like open. And I, I feel like they, they made a lot of stupid mistakes. That's just what I keep seeing. They feel like they made a lot of stupid mistakes, but the biggest mistake was just like not being in, being there and, and receiving a beautiful gift when they had the chance to receive it. And I feel like that's what they want to tell you the most. And like I said, maybe some of them don't know how to put it into words. Maybe some of them haven't had the opportunity yet to tell you this. But that is the message that they want to say to you. It's crazy to feel so um like choked up. I literally like had to fight back tears in the emotions. Okay, you guys, so the next thing that we're gonna look at is, um, let's take a look at what the near future holds for the connection. But you know, t I'm gonna take the reading over to my Patreon, you guys, and if you wanna join me over there, if you wanna hear more messages from Spirit about what the near future holds for the connection, I'll link my Patreon below. If not, I really hope that you guys just enjoyed the messages that you have received from Spirit. Some of you could feel content and just feel like, you know, you're gonna take that with you. Um, but some of you may want to hear a little bit more about the near future. I'll link my Patreon. You guys can feel free to join me over there. I send you all so much love and light. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you guys over on my Patreon.